Uh, okay, hello, welcome. We're going to be continuing with Dwarf Fortress. Wolficod Vault Glaze. Oh, <clears throat> and there's been no uh, release of the next version yet. Unfortunately, there's no more messages about it either. Last one was on the 22nd, and I read that out last time, so <laughs> I'm looking forward to it. I forget all the things that are going to be into that are going to be in it. Primarily, I think it's the villain's arc, which will have slight effects on the uh, dwarf fortress mode. Uh, let me have a look. Uh, yeah, the villain's release is what it's going to be. Uh, so a lot of plotting and scheming in the background, which I don't think you can really take part of in the adventure mode. Uh, yep. Okay. So, anyway, let's continue Uborphicod. Uh, last time, we got to the third la cavern layer and we started exploring around down there. Well... We started exploring the third cavern layer more thoroughly last time. Um, we also had some human traders, which we annoyed to the point where they just left. We have our new dining hall being set up here. This is so that we can have our alcohol here, and this is our food stockpile over here. And um, this is for prepared food. So... Dwarves are going to be nearby, they'll eat the prepared food better than just having all the raw food nearby. Um, because they'll get happier thoughts from it. Um, there'll be quite a lot of work setting it all up. We have so much junk and rubbish sitting outside of our fortress. Um, also, let's see, we had expanded our... Um, fuel, uh, uh, expanded our smelting and forging situation here, and I'd been forging some gold coins. There's a dwarf carrying some gold coins right now. Um, and I'd expanded the clothiers makers, but hmm, we didn't have any thread to make stuff from. I think we had a huge, we have like a huge amount of thread, but let me see. Stock, is it under thread or is it under cloth? Uh, giant, spa giant case spider silk cloth, 86. Yeah. Uh, and thread. I think all the thread might have gone into the... Uh... Might have gone into the... Uh... Or is that counting all the silk web as thread? That's counting all the silk thread, the silk web as thread. Okay. So that's why it's saying we have a huge amount. Because there's all the web in the second layer of caverns, but dwarves haven't gone and collected it. Okay. Um, we'd also start building our vault a bit more. Uh, we're in the position to start building the second layer of it. Oh, and someone's interrupted by a crundle. Damn crundles. <clears throat> There's military dwarves chasing them around down here. They're not too much of a problem, crundles. We haven't done anything with the adamantine we discovered either. I haven't gotten adamantine in ages. And it's, uh... It's kind of a risky prospect, uh, getting adamantine. Do that. And that. And then what do I want to do? Hmm. I kind of want to have just like a large open like room for the vault. Uh with like the with these pillars in it. These pillars in it. With the staircase going up. How many floors can I make? Uh, 
let's see. Ground. One, two, three, four. Okay, so roughly four. Yep. Um. Uh, Let's make it another floor up. And we can. There we go. And. We can make like a little lip at the back of it going up into that hole, which is the fourth floor. Uh, there. Don't really want to make it out of... We're going to need more wood. But it's been a while since we cut down trees, so we've got a lot left. We've got a lot sitting around. Uh... Oh yes, that's right. Also, traders arrived last time. Uh, so we should move our things here. And... Yep, sure. And request trader. And then we'll be able to do some trading with our uh, dwarven fellows. Something is free on Gog, though I'm pretty sure it's always free. Hmm. It's not like Lure the Temptress. Teen, uh... Teen Agent. Uh, what's the other ones? Oh. oh what's that other one? The, uh, side sci-fi adventure game. And, um, there's another one. I think there's like four which are always free. I should play through Teen Agent sometime. I always had the demo of it. I liked it, but... It cuts off just before you really get to, uh... Get to, like, the cusp of the... Get to the meat of the game. Because there's, like, the first part of it, which is a training camp. And then you go to this village, which is where you're actually supposed to be doing what you're supposed to, what you're there for, and um, and the demo is just like, yep, well, get the full version. At all right graphics, the uh, visuals in it are fine. They're not the nicest I've seen, but they're serviceable. Uh, is there a trader now? Nope. Are you a trader? No, you're not. What are you? You're an administrator. Who's our broker and where are they? The broker is Kivish, the mayor. Again. No. Wait, hang on. Oh, there you are. Oh, you're having a drink. Oh, okay. Have your drink, and then go to the trade depot, please. We've got things to trade. You're stricken with melancholy. You're hungry and thirsty. You're, you're going to eventually dehydrate and die. 
Uh Bard slipped into depression. <laughs> Even the Bard's sad. Hmm. What's that? Oh, a spear dwarf. Uh, okay, so how's the brewing situation going on? It stopped. Why has it stopped? Do we need more barrels? The work order. Now, uh, create 50 barrels. And... Is our broker there yet? There he is. Store item in bin. Y you don't have to. You know, there are bins in the drinking area where you can store it. I'm going to turn it off here then. Uh, where is it? Finished goods type. Turn off, not all of it, turn off goblets, and here, finish goods, turn off goblets. That way, they'll take the goblets and they'll put them into the other storage pit. Don't want- Stop hauling things. Water hauling is fine, and burial, but inventory, that chalk mug, I'm going to <laughs> forbid it, get you to drop it. Thank you, so that you can go and trade. Oh, and you're storing another item in the bin. I want it at the trade depot. Go there. Uh, what can we do in the meantime while we're waiting for him to, waiting for them to have a open slot in their schedule? Uh. I'm making rock coffers. You're making cabinets and so on. Smelting hematite ore. Building milk. Minting gold coins. You're making pig iron bars. You're forging some steel battle axes. Let's make some iron. Uh, let's see. Iron. Uh, hmm. I could make iron coins. Uh, create some iron amulets. So... Iron amulets. Create 30 of them. Go. Why are you hauling the wooden boat? kid left, left it on the ground and you're like, oh, we're gonna put it into the pile. What's there on the map? Crundles. No, wait, that's dead. Uh, it's not actually that much. Giant Olm, Kiwicock, Great Horned Owl, more Crundles, and an Elk Bird. Oh, and a Giant Mole. Okay, uh, now that you've put that boat into the storage pit, now will you go and trade? Uh, have you... Uh, 
What are you doing? Now you're sleeping. Broker. Replace. <laughs> the mayor. Is the mayor free? The mayor is constructing a building. Fine. Well, you're not asleep. Maybe after you've done that, you can trade. If those dwarves leave without me getting a chance to trade with them, I'm just going to be disappointed. Starting fist, fi fist fight target inaccessible. Maybe it started trying a fist fight with the uh, were raccoon. They are uh, indisposed. <laughs> Trade at Depot! Hooray! Keep doing that until you get all the way up there, please. Gotta watch you to make sure that you do that. Another masterpiece chalk coffer. A piglet grew up. Into a stray boar. And, okay, no, you're still going to the depot to trade. We should have all of our stuff there to trade. Interrupted by a crundle. Interrupted by a crundle. Okay, you're there. Good. Trade. Thank you. Greetings from the mountain homes. Your efforts are legend there. Let us trade. So, what do I want from you? Um, let's get some more sheets. Uh, pigtail sheets also. Uh, That's a lot of cheese. It all costs 50 too. It doesn't matter what animal it's from, it's just 50 for a cheese. Cow cheese. Sure, whatever. Um, We don't really need backpacks, I don't think. Uh, we want more thread. Cloth. Don't need any more food. That is a massive amount of anvils. Why did you bring so many anvils? Hey, pigtail cloth. That's expensive. Uh, let me see. We need any bags? No, we can make bags. Dwarven sugar bag, plum helmet spawns. Do we need any seeds? Actually, um, we might see, need some seeds of some of the plants we have, like underground plants, because I think we ran out for some of them. Sweet pod seeds. Uh. 
cave wheat seeds. Uh, we don't need any plump on what spawn. Hats and caps. Iron shields. Armor. Socks. Shoes. This is a lot of stuff. Hmm. Buy some alcohol from them. Northern wine, rum, wine, wine, ale, rum, beer. And have these gems. Hey, he seems pleased with the trading. That means that he made a fair amount of uh, profit. Or it was worth his time coming here, I, I believe. So he's more likely. He, I think it means that they'll bring more next time. Uh, crystal glass knob. Chicken bone, awesome. So let's get some more instruments. There we go. Uh... We need some more rope. Not really. We can make rope. We just have to get our cloth situation under underway. Uh, and I don't think we need any real... We really need any bars or anything. Um, because we can make a lot of this. We can, we can make what we need and... We don't really want, like, just a bar of some material. So that will be good. Thank you very much. We went through the, uh... What's it called? The Outpost Liaison's text, text last time. Actually, let's have a look at that. Uh, the Dwarven Fortress of Vaultglaze. Your location. Site, Government, the Flaxen Hall, Civilization, the Bright Vestibule. That's us, right here. Artifacts. Rumored. The books count as artifacts? What's the uh, what's these books here? Give me animal societies. Never underestimate the path of the moon. The pulley when it counts. Reflections on examination of the patient. A soldier for everyone. Adhesives for everyone. Discourse on civilization. Mineral remedies. Fact or fiction. Animal development in theory. Records. Records of your own story. Pathways to training. The possibilities of the soul. Cultures explained. Pathways to the model. Okay. Uh get a list of all the artifacts but I don't think anything would have changed about uh, what's it called strangle wire because it was unknown when I've checked last time and I don't think that would have changed Those are books. Run banner. Did I move past it? It is Animal Survival. Oh, it's a choir. It's a book. Errors in Levers. How oh, about where's Stranglemire? Strange Trade, The Staff. No, those are still books. Uh, 
Uh, for anyone who doesn't know, Stranglemire is a artifact iron battle axe which we made in the last fortress. And it was lost when the fortress was lost. But it still exists in the world. Uh, other times I've checked, it doesn't have a... known location. Just seeing whether that's changed. Someone would have to go and explore the old fortress or find the creature which walked off with it because we fell to a uh, goblin siege so it's probably in the hands of the goblins. That means they might see it if those goblins go on and uh, go on the attack somewhere. God, there's so many books. Really? This is just books after books after books. This is a little ridiculous. If each of the books are going to be counted as an artifact. Maybe they should be put into their own section. Yeah, then it's books. Okay, so it must be up here. Uh, Deer Skewered, Painted Heel, Knit Swarm, Run Banner. Mist Feed. Uh, not all of these are artifacts created in my last fortress. Uh, many of them are just artifacts created around the world. So, I can't remember all the artifacts we had in our last fortress, but I do remember Stranglemire. Uh... Oh! Yeah, I've probably gone over it. Ah, oh, well, doesn't matter, really. Uh... Can't search. No, I can't. Okay, fine. Whatever. Um, news and rumors. Uh, just for us. Uh, this is just like these books were rumored to be here, which makes sense because they were here. Um, there's a goblin army moving down to attack here. The army of Beretha Lushhale, the Lavender Whiskers, marched on fl Flu Cloistered. And the late winter of 132, the army of Nello Throne Talons marched on Crush Teams. That's actually a while ago. 132? 133? That's... what year is it? 134, so that's like one, two years ago. Anything else? Our last fortress was over here. Guilt Sabers. No, this one. Yeah, the Fortress of Rackhelped. This is it here. It's a fallen fortress, though. So. Uh, there's actually another one over here. Great Gravel Yaw. Yeah, that one's actually fallen as well, but. Or it's uninhabited. I don't think that's one that I started. Hmm. Oh, because I've only done one in Fortress in this world. Uh, okay. Fine. Do we have... Let me just have a look at something. Uh... Docks. Weapons. That's the Crundlebone Battle Axe. That's nothing. Okay, fine. Mason's given birth to a boy. Congratulations. How's it going over here? 
people should be moving the food down here. And we're going to have to have a lot of... Uh, or am I going to have to put move more food in here because the prepared meals aren't enough? What's in this pile? Wooden barrel, number 39. Okay. Uh, that does have prepared meals on. Hey, we'll take from anywhere. Uh, food. Yep, prepared food. Also cheese. Plant cheese. Ah, damn it. What is plant cheese? Hold on. You can't permit it. Let me have a look at that. Dwarf fortress cheese. Cheese makers turn milk into cheese. Yeah. I'm reading, a, I'm reading a thread which was posted in December of 2008 about it. So it's been around for a while, the uh, plant, cheese plants, and yeah, I do remember that. I've never actually really looked at it. Uh, people are sort of saying perhaps it could be something like tofu, but there's nothing in the game like that, so it's just a blank entry. Okay, fine, fine. There's nothing to put into it. there. Okay. That's fine. Just one of those oddity things. It might be fleshed out at a later point. I don't know. Not that important of a detail for the game. the masterpiece a persimmon wood barrel so I want to uh, continue making that vault let's have a look at it it is going pretty well and we should have more wood now so we can continue constructing this scaffolding maybe come on I did ask for a whole bunch of trees to be cut down. Do I not have enough dwarves with the carpenter's workshop? With the, uh... God, I got so many freaking... So many farmers. Um... You! You're now, along with being a farmer, you're a woodcutter and a carpenter. You're a bookbinder, you're now a carpenter and a woodcutter. You're a dwarven child, you're now a woodcutter. You're a papermaker. Uh. Uh. You're a farmer. There we go. Okay, so a few more dwarves with those uh, jobs. So I might activate a few more dwarves as masons. And we'll put a bunch of other dwarves as stone detailers. You're a miner.
your administrator. Stone detailing. Uh, you, Law, I want you, because you're a peasant, so you don't have a specific job. Uh, you could be a gem cutter. Or do I want you as a gem cutter? Because, yep, sure. If I put you as a gem cutter now, you'll just get skilled. Over time. Uh, let's see. Let's mine like this. There. And like that. There we go. Uh, I think you're a miner. And you've got all the hauling jobs on still, so I don't want that. Water hauling's fine. Uh... Look at all those children. 166 dwarves in a fortress. And I believe all of them have beds. Okay, people are cutting down the trees. Good. You and you. You're an engraver. How are you feeling? He's exasperated when caught in the rain. He fell satisfaction after felling a tree. Uh, he's mulling over the reco- Oh, wait. He is, was accepting remembering retching on a miasma, and mulling over the recurring memory allowed him to rethink his intellectual values. He was accepting remembering drinking nasty water. So yeah, they could actually have, um, personality changes. He personally sees the denial of impulses as a vain and foolish pursuit, sees those that attempt to maintain dignifi dignified and proper behaviour as vain and offensive, a turnaround after retching on a miasma in 133. <laughs> okay. It doesn't feel strongly about the law. He dreams of creating a great work of art. He is distracted after being unable to pray to Edem. We do have a, uh... Oh, pardon. <laughs> we do have a temple. Am I going to have to expand them? They might be too small for all of our dwarves. Okay, well that's something we can do. Uh, so each one of these is at the moment a 4x4 room. And it really should be larger than that. So, let's see. If we have it... Uh, well, we can have it over here. So how am I going to want this room to look? Hmm. Um, the size of the areas of worship. I should probably have them at least like... Six, no, eight, ten by ten? Ten by ten is like... Like that. And... Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Yeah, that's quite large, but... Okay, so how many gods have we got? Uh... One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. We might have a few more gods now that we've got more dwarves, so... One, two, three, four. We could have like a... All like this. I kind of want to line it up with there. So how big is that? Two, three, four, five, six, seven. By ten. We have... Make them 7 by 9. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So get rid of that. We'll get rid of all 
this so I don't get confused. Okay, so that's four. And two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. 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 There we go. So that's eight. I'd actually like the hall in the middle to be a bit, wi a bit wider than that. Uh, hold on. Ah. Uh, style is important. Um, especially if I'm going to be looking at it all the time. Do that. Two, three, four, five, six. There. Eight, nine. So what's this? Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Okay. And we can do like little dents here. Just to make it look a bit more interesting. So that's how many is this? Two, three, four, five, six. Six by nine. Two, three, four, five, six. And there we go. Okay, and we can put a door in each of them right in the center. There we go. Uh, I'm not going to put any dints in these rooms. Even though I'm tempted to put ones in the corners, uh, it will limit the amount of space the dwarves have for dancing and all that. So I don't really want to do that. Okay, and we, did, and we can expand that further west if we need more, uh, more rooms of worship. Okay, and our dwarves are currently digging out this. Stop that. I was doing that to look for more gems, but... Human crossbowman has been found dead. How unfortunate. Is that a recent occurrence? Oh, there's a troll there. And it's enraged. It's already it's got a name. It's already killed someone. Probably the uh human. I think it killed someone, maybe. No, but I think it injured someone. Okay, um, there's Rutheras, all the way down there, Troglodytes, Chinchillas, Floating Guts, there's something else. A transparent and amorphous monster that lives underground. It is small in size and is found crawling across the cavern floor. Its organs appear to be floating inside of its body. Its skin is clear, its fat is clear, its fat is clear. Yeah, it's just like a ball of ball of guts in the like a transparent ball or something weird uh these ruthers they're all just down there
Okay. Go up here. Do we have any more burial receptacles? We do. So, put these here. And... Ah, good, you're mining that out. I don't know whether I should put a food stockpile behind this major food stockpile so that ingredients so that I can have the kitchens right next by right next door so they can just produce all the food from there. People taking the food there? Are, are there people actually creating food? Yeah, there is. Well, you're rendering fat in a moment, actually. Is that why you're not doing it? Um, it's to get some more, get some more kitchens. Because we've got hungry, hungry dwarves. Do we have more chairs and all that? Nope. Nope. Okay. People are throwing tantrums. Some rutile. Okay, fine, fine. Uh, now what? Well, until that's done. Cancel Dig Oblivious. Oh, jeez. This one. Uh. Come on, dwarves. You've got to toughen up. Things aren't really that bad. I know you keep seeing corpses and all that everywhere, but... And the merchants have embarked. Fine. Uh, we've gotten all the stuff out of there. Have, are you creating cabinets and coffers? Coffins. How many more of that task do you have? 13 left out of 20. Fine. Uh, hmm. I'm going to want new order. Rock thrones. I'm going to want 20 of them. Tables, 20 of those. Thank you. Ugh. 
Um. Yep, sure, sure. You're just continuing doing that. Ooh, create a masterpiece for cave spider silk cloth. How nice. Uh, can we... How much silk cloth do we have? Let's see, stock. Cloth. 43. We have 86 case spider silk cloth. Giant case spider silk cloth. Okay, so... And 100 of the other one, or 106 or something. So, I'm going to say... Do this. Work orders. Uh, make cloth... Not cloth robe. Uh, silk robes. 20. Make silk uh, shoes, 20. And make silk trousers, 20. There we go. And that will be good for some extra... Some new clothes for dwarves, because some of them are probably upset that their clothing is rotting off their bodies. Because, as I mentioned, clothing does wear out after time. What are these statues here? Oh, there's the statues from the, uh... From the, uh, dining hall. Okay, let's put them back into the dining hall then. Uh... Statue... Iron statue, another one here, statue of Tidy, uh, this iron statue of Dasot. That was when I was trying to get a statue of a specific god, but it just wouldn't make one. Quartzite statue of a giant lion, not a floodgate. statue there and giant statue there we're not going to put that statue of leeches up because that's something dwarves can dislike I don't want them to go to the drinking hall I remember there was just at least one dwarf which didn't like leeches I can't remember whether they're alive now or not but I think there's some creatures in the game which vermin and all that which Wolves tend to dislike more often than others. <clears throat> so, for example, this person uh, absolutely detests leeches. There you go. Uh, this siege operator, uh, she detests mosquitoes. This one here. Uh, detests leeches. So, I'm not going to put a statue of leeches up if multiple dwarves dislike leeches. I don't know whether the statue of leeches actually will affect them. Because they dislike them. Or whether it's only seeing the uh, live thing. Edzul, Iden Mamgos, Goz, Baron Consort of Pullybuds is visiting. Hey! Had them appear a little bit before. Uh, because of reasons. And migrants have arrived. Hello, migrants. What's this? We've got farmer, peasant. Inod, what's that? Like a fishery worker. Ooh, a miner. A gem setter, an armorer. A poet. Like another fisher, fisher, fisherman. Fisher dwarf. Kitten. Um, I think that's a hunter or ranger. Uh, 
Uh, yep, a ranger, and this one is a fish cleaner. Okay, well, hello dwarves, welcome. <laughs> welcome to Vault Glaze. The engraver just died from dehydration. You know what that means? That means his bed's up for grabs. If they weren't married. No, 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 no. Hey, that one's not owned by anyone. Ranger, that's your bed now. This one's not owned by anyone. Fish cleaner. Okay, that is, that is, that is. That is, that is, that is, that is. Bone carver, gem setter. Uh, fine. And there. Yep. 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 Uh, that's fine, that's fine. I want that one, that one, that one. There. I'm just going through all of the bedrooms to see whether any more of them are free. Uh, we might need to make some more bedrooms though. Uh, Axe Dwarf. Farmer and Siege Engineer. Okay, so I think we're going to have to create some more bedrooms. That's easy enough. I still have this saved? No, I don't. Okay, forget that. Well, actually. I save a bit of time. doing that okay no there I'll do this this and there and there and there and there and then cut down the middle like this get that there Okay, we could also even add one more line at the end there, but I think that's enough. And we're going to need more beds for that. That's more than enough rooms, but... Yeah. Future saving, in case we get another... 27 dwarves? Yeah. How's that coming on? Nearly done? There's one of my miners is stumbling around oblivious. 
Oh, I hope they end up recovering. Uh, you're moving the statues in there. Okay, fine. Good, good. Those are heavy, but thank you. Why are you horrified? Are you getting upset from seeing all these, like... He's horrified reliving seeing a troglodyte's body. Yeah. You're upset from seeing... This. Uh. Not really any good way to... Corpses do eventually, like, rot away, but then they become skeletons, and I don't think the skeletons disappear. do this. Like there. And there. And if I Do we have another one actually? Hold on. Just <laughs> in case In the, <laughs> in the corpse pile. Okay, we actually have more than enough tombs. So that's kind of good news. <laughs> um, so I want you to take all these and dump them all. And dump them into this little square here. Gotta make... Dwarves unhappy, but... Oh, there goes the uh, merchants. But it will at least get them out of their sight. They're gonna be upset seeing this horse mangled skeleton there. I mean, that wasn't killed by us, that was killed by goblins when they invaded all that time ago. And no one's, um... No one's gone and dealt with it. I actually they're going to go into the room over there and get horrified from all the troglodyte corpses, aren't they? Uh, okay, remove the dump command, and we'll think about it a little bit better than this. Okay, so I'm going to remove this dump stockpile here, I'm going to place another one, and it's going to be... Uh, here. There. Is that a garbage dump? Let's see. Yep. Good. Okay, and we've already got the one. So now you can dump all this. Dump. Dump. There. Get it all off those. There's still the, uh, useful bug in- bug? Oversight? Thing in Dwarf Fortress where if you're putting items in stockpiles like this, they take up one square per object. However, if you dump items, you can store as many items in one square as you want. So you can have 
like we have up here. Just massive pile of seeds and some rocks and other stuff in just one square. Because a square into a fortress is essentially an infinite amount of space. Uh, when it comes to certain things. Um, I remember it used to be like, you could have a thousand dwarves in one square as long as like 999 of them are lying down. And a squ one square can contain one dwarf, one human, or one dragon, or one bronze colossus. I haven't seen a bronze colossus in ages. Those were one of the biggest. What those were one of the scariest things in the game. Oh, there's the dump pile. They're actually putting them into the uh, dump pile over there, which I have. Well, okay, chuck it down a pit. That's fine. I forgot that I had that there. We're making use of it. Uh, bronze Colossus are um, nasty enemies. Atius Max. Oh, hang on. Hold on. Something's up. I'm losing frames. Why am I losing frames? Uh, it's a problem with this. My bitrate's gone unstable. Why has that happened? There uh, shouldn't be anything problematic. Is Google. No. Is, uh. Windows doing something? Nope. Is Steam doing something? Nope. Uh, what is going on? That's excellent now. Ugh. Anyway, Matthias Maximus has a question. Uh, what do I think the height of each Z level is? Um, I don't really know. <laughs> um, as I said, since a square is sort of a nebulous amount of space. I kind of think a square is like big enough for a dwarf to stand to, uh, for one dwarf to like comfortably stand up with a little bit of head headroom because we're making fortresses for dwarves so I'd kind of expect you know, the roof to be just high enough for a dwarf. Yeah, seems better now. Yeah, it's still fluctuating. I don't know why it's doing that. Boing. Let me close this. It can have a Colossus in it. Yeah. I suppose if that's the, if, 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 if I go with that, then it just means that like humans and Colossus are all punched over. <laughs> if they're in your fortress. Um. But. I don't know. Is there any good way to tell? Like, a tile can't, a single tile can't con contain an entire tree anymore because trees are multi multiple Z levels high. So, trees used to be just one square. You would just have like a tree icon and you cut it down and you get one log from it. Much better now. You get much more wood per tree. You're fluctuating. I don't know. Sorry for this. It really occurred that much. Um. Uh, whatever. So the, it can have a colossus in it. So the roof would have to be something I could just never get in my get your head around. <laughs> I assume it, I assume head around. I would um. Yeah. I would never. I, I would probably recommend thinking about thinking about it. Um, think, thinking about it too much because some things in Dwarf Fortress are just mysterious. It can be fun to think about things like that in a light-hearted manner. I think people have tried to come to like how big this is. Oh, that's a thing. 
Pardon me. Um, uh, I go close my browser to see whether that improves things. And it seems to have stabilized a bit now. But Windows has this really annoying issue where. Oh. How can I put that there? Let's open Firefox. Why has it gone off my taskbar? Sorry. Pardon me. <laughs> I'm experiencing technical difficulties in the background. Okay, if I open up Dwarf Fortress Wiki. I think it's a case of whenever Firefox gets updated, Windows goes, Oh, this thing doesn't exist anymore. I'm going to remove it from your taskbar. Still is there. Um, maybe that was what the uh, lag was caused by. So, uh, square, square. It would help if I spelled it correctly. Uh, let's have a look. Dwarf fortress square. Uh space. Yeah, I've, how big is a square? I've always figured it was a five foot square, but do we actually know? Big enough to fit a hundred dragons if 99 of them are lying down, but small enough two dwarves can't fit past each other standing up. Two cats can't fit past each other standing up. So like half a kilometre tall, but less than one metre wide. <laughs> It's, uh, here we go, here's the wiki. Uh, uh, that's just explaining about it. I don't think it, th there's no answer to the question. Yeah, bigger than a giant sperm whale, but smaller than a wagon. Yeah. Because a wagon clearly takes up three, three by three. I mean, there's one right there. <laughs> I don't know if they'll ever get multiple, uh, multiple tile creatures. It's something which doesn't really work too well with, uh, ASCII games. I'm trying to think of other ASCII games I've played. NetHack doesn't have any multiple tile creatures. Uh, Cataclysm doesn't. But it does have multiple tile objects. It has uh, vehicles in it. And they look weird when they turn around, but they function. I think they could have bugs where, like, a zombie can, like, go through the gaps in your vehicle when you're turning. Because there's, a, because there's like, technically a gap in the car at some points. So. It's still impressive that they've got that working like that in um, Cataclysm. I don't know whether that would work in Dwarf Fortress. I don't really want to have my dwarves having control of vehicles. <laughs> I don't trust them. Um, multiple tile creatures. There's kind of a multiple tile creature in Dwarf Fortress. I'm just... I'm going to be... <sighs> it's not really. But it is a single entity which takes multiple tiles. Um, dwarves can have an injury where if they have a if they have a uh, stomach injury they can end up with their uh, intestines spilling out and um, they'll be dragging on the floor so you can see like a little squiggle after the dwarf following them around because you know their intestines are dragging along behind them and it's gruesome but did that count as multiple tiles? Because <laughs> it's following along after them? The dwarves can be multiple tiles sometimes when they're carrying a wagon or when they're like pushing a wheelbarrow around. Which is something new. But that's more the wheelbarrow and the dwarf. It's two separate entities. You've only seen it with the zombies. It is possible for uh, living dwarves to have that. Not something which you see too often, but... Ugh. Thankfully. <laughs> Poor dwarves. Like, they don't go through enough. Okay, prepare easy meals. And render fat, I suppose. Hmm. 
type of multiple multiple square creature, which would be a simple one to, I don't know, test proof a concept, would probably be like a slime or something. Because that's just a blob, and you can have it, like, group up with other blobs next to it. Hey, Masterpiece Iron Amulet. Nice! Um... Okay, so you've got these here. Ooh, hang on. Giant Cave Toad. I was just saw a giant cave and I was like, uh oh. Kill it! All the dwarves are going out collecting all the, uh... Webbing. Here come the military. Dun da da. Well, you killed that. I see that combat. The giant cave toad attacks a weaver, but she jumps away. Bites a weaver, lightly tapping the target. Bruising the muscle, giant cave toad attacks the axe dwarf, but he jumps away. The axe dwarf hacks the giant cave toad to the left front leg with his iron battle axe, fracturing the bone. Artery has been opened by the attack and tendon is torn. Giant cave toad gives into pain, falls over, and then he hits it in the head. Well done. And he cut off its head. Okay. Uh, do we have any other bigger threats on the map? Cave crocodiles, Rutheras, massive amount of crundles. Cave crocodiles over there, and this one is down there. I'll probably end up going to my fortress at some point. Uh, we ha well, thankfully we haven't had to deal with the undead much in this fortress. I say much, only once, uh, earlier on. We had a troll which uh, wandered into the fortress and it was just sitting in a hall, sitting in a doorway. Apparently it was spending that time grabbing onto the nose of a dog and it just sat there for ages doing that. And then the dog hit the troll, the troll charged the dog and uh, it just happened that the troll was sitting right here. And this is a, this is our temple area, and it charged, knocked over the statue, and it got cursed by the god, and it became a troll vampire, so we had to kill that. We have its uh, tusk on a little plinth over here, as a trophy for the military, so. What was it called? Troll was called... Yeah. Garapestro. Drain strifles. Drain strifle. Who have its left tusk on this marble plinth there? Uh, good. You're all cooking things up. And should be getting a lot of nice meals out of that. I'm going to want to uh Let's see. We're going to have to deconstruct all of these. So, right. Um, okay, deconstruct, deconstruct, deconstruct. We'll just do it now. Dwarves are going to have to go without worship for a little bit while we reposition these. Oh, that statue's missing from down there. Oh, that's right, because we couldn't make a statue for it. Yeah, for some reason, the statue for that god was not working. I was trying to make statues of it, and it was just creating statues of other things. Most annoying. Here's something from DF Reddit about size and physics. Uh, can I actually change something on the fly? Let me have a look. Uh, well, actually, that's not a problem because oh, no. oh pardon. Uh, if I go to my references. Something which I've been meaning to.
there. Okay. That might work. Or that might only update after I have in my next stream. I, t I activated links in the chat. I don't know whether that will work now, but something I was meaning to do. Uh, let's see. Based on the size of dwarves and their buildings, I'm inclined to think that the tile is about 1 to 2 meters in every direction. Call it 2 meters as a round figure. We can suggest that the tile is 2 meters wide and 2.8 meters tall. We assume normal of gravity, level 1 fleeting frames, 10 points. Physics. Oh, right. That was... Uh, physics, all speed and mem hacking says 2 by 2 by 2, 8 meters. However, a dwarf can walk about 120 tiles per day, which translates to one tile every 12 minutes. I'm sure the chances versus snails. Uh, max speed minecraft. Yeah. Yep. Uh, the, the dwarves in... Interrupted by cave... Oh, jeez. Um, the speed of dwarves, or at least the speed of the days in Dwarf Fortress is very, very fast. I would say it's more the speed of the days than the speed of, than the uh, dwarves being slow. The days just go past really quickly. But... let's see if we go it's currently 18th of timber if we wait for a bit I don't know how long a day is in Dwarf Fortress it'd be like a minute nineteenth of timber now yep like this one this whole discussion is immaterial because people think in terms of physics we're in the dwarfs world they are ruled by dwarf physics I do know when the magic system's implemented, it's going to be like randomly generated. I was just thinking of like what, whether uh, if Dwarf Fortress had like like different physics from the normal world or like randomly generated physics. That would probably just get really confusing though. I know the magic system will be like that. You can have like different worlds with different like base magic and that it would affect the types of spells which are created and how it's implemented and all that. I think what I remember being mentioned would be interesting to play around with. Uh, everyone's having to go upstairs to get the food. And they're not putting all the food down here. Uh, put... I want you to just take it all down here. Permit this. Permit this. Permit meat. Permit plants. There we go. Just fill it up with food. At least they'll stop them from going up and down stairs all the time. Oh, Stray Doe Rabbit has given birth to bunnies. How many? <laughs> so many crundles. Stray bunnies. Two. Three. Or five. Possibly five. Uh, oh yes, do we have any more animals which we need to put into our pen? Looking very full in there. But we don't need any food. Any more food. Are you not... Move the gem bins back.
wait just because I've got like finished goods gems off here or something so put the bins up to 20 you might have put some more bins in there there's um there's no more s slots for bins to put in there what are my world settings like? Am I expecting any attacks? I don't really know. I mean, early on we had one siege from some goblins and some dwarves which were with them. But we hid in the mountain because we weren't ready to deal with them. And they went and left. And we haven't had another siege since. And I think that was like four years ago? Something like that? So, I don't know. My last fortress actually down here. That rack helped. Ended up falling to the goblins. But yeah, we're up here. And um there is a dark fortress nearby. Hmm. I don't know. Getting attacked from downstairs mostly. Uh, at the moment, we're just sort of focusing on building a uh, iron vault all the way down in the underground here to store loot in. And then we'll... I don't know what we'll do once we finish this. that and that no long-term goals uh, well time for the vault we have got adamantine so I could go and collect some of that um, actually but aside from that I don't know I was just really doing a fortress to mess around with dwarf fortress because I enjoy playing the game uh, where is the adamantine There it is. So we have a fair bit there. And I don't know what I want to do with this. I'll probably collect some of the stuff on the outside of it. Where's our tunnels? Over there. Uh, do this, I suppose. And... that, like that, and I kind of want to go from to there, yep, there. Uh, I mean, at the moment, as it, s it seems, if we complete the vault and then nothing goes on, then I might just retire the fortress, which means it will run in the background. Uh, we won't be controlling it directly anymore. Oh, we can pick it up again at maybe a later point. Um, but, yeah, I mean, so it's just playing and then this, the new version comes out in a few days. We mentioned, so... I don't know. Till then, uh, maybe. Uh, oh, what's your problem? Throwing a tantrum. You're playing and throwing a tantrum. 
been waiting for that before you play again. I did actually know that the new f version was coming out when I started this, but I was informed by other people that it was. Yay! Villain's arc. Be interesting. All the plotting and scheming. As well as a bunch of patches after that to like fix some of the bugs and so on. I think it's I think Tarn's gonna focus on um or Tony One's gonna focus on um some bug patches for a bit afterward after it because of the uh coming Steam release of Dwarf Fortress. Mm. Oh, all the leaves are coming off the trees. So nice. Uh, you're not hitting anything. Don't have any seeds. I did buy some. Shouldn't have run out of seeds. I mean, really, we had so many. Berry seeds, opponent seeds, cave wheat seeds. Yeah. Seeds which we can't use also. But... Uh, okay, okay. Do we have an artifact, mate? No. Got some more books. The Student, Principles and Practice. Made from hemp cloth. Rollers are made from gra graphite. It doesn't seem like a good choice. The rollers are made from well-crafted iron. Wait, two rollers? Hmm, okay. Written on the item is a manual entitled The Student, Principles and Practice, authored by Papos Pad Couple. Concerns education, its forms and recommendations. The writing overflows with sadness. Overall, the prose is not awful, but not very good either. Oh, sad book. What else is there? Meditations on surveying, uncanny shadow clock. I think we've seen these other ones. Last time. Of the human. <laughs> okay. Uh, do we have tables and all that now? We do. Let's put these two tables here, and that there, and that there. Okay, a bit more seating down here. All the dwarves eating things and leaving seeds on the ground. Uh, I'm going to want to put those statues back up here as well, don't I? So... We have statues of all these different gods, and I had written down, if I could find my, here we go, uh, text all about it. Uh, so the first one was Shin the Aqualorak, which is not here. Why isn't it here? Actually, hang on. We had a statue of Shin the Aqualadak in here, but I thought... Yeah, there. Why is that in there? Did I put the wrong statue back up once the troll knocked over? Okay, fine. Well... Create these as rooms. They're... Uh, there, there, and there. How many gods do we have? I think it was seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Yep. There, and uh, we'll create the last one. We don't have to designate it as anything. And we want this one. Uh, meeting place, assign location. I think we want it the Golden Rod, at Golden Rod Abbey. You can designate multiple areas as being part of the same sort of 
location. Uh, the God of Diamond is the next god. The Wealthy Monastery. Appropriate name. Uh, ML. The Armoured Sanctum for Curlig. He guarded the Shadow Vault. We have ML. The Convent of Rock for Doran Firebronze. ML, we have the Chapel of Confidence for Edom, which we can't make a statue of for reasons. The, the Sanctuary of Meadows for Usen, the Good Standards. We have L and the Church of Knights for Sarek. So there we go. I don't think we have any more gods, do we? Let's see. ML. Add location, temple. Oh, that's all it. Which one's the most worshipped god in our fortress? Actually, Edom. 23. 20 for Doran. 11 for Curlig. 11 for the gold of Diamond. And 13 for Shin. 9 worshippers, nine worshippers for Sarek. And 10 for Usen. Okay. We could also have no specific deity. Sure. Do that. The tactical temple. <laughs> yes. <laughs> okay. Well, that's fine. Uh, I think I actually had a random statue of just a dwarf in the temple for Edom. So let's see. That's the golden rod. So let's put the wealthy monastery. Uh, B. S. I'm going to put... Iron statue of the gold of diamond. S over here. I'm gonna put the statue of Curlig. S put this statue here of Doran. And down here we put this statue of Edom, but it's just gonna be an iron statue of a dwarf, because that's the one I created for it. Uh Ulsen, and the last one is Sarek. Oh, I have to leave. Okay, well, thank you for joining us. Thanks for the luck for the fortress. I hope everything goes well too. Uh, I'm going to have to put that statue of leeches up anyway. Have you on deconstructing that statue? Yes, you have. Someone's going to have to haul it to... The stockpile. You're deconstructing it? Good. Uh. Hey, okay. Can we put it up? I think we have to wait until it's in the uh, storage pit. Yep. Okay. The stockpile. We're also going to want to put these uh, containers back in here, so put the coffer here and another one there, there and there. There, there, and there, 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 and there, and there, and there. There we go. Good to store some instruments in. And everyone's filling up that stockpile with food. Well, oh. Grand plans to have it filled up with prepared meals, whatever. The less time dwarves have to go wandering around for food, the better. What are all the things we have there? What are those? Poland. Leeks and turnips. A stack of two turnip plants. Uh, 
Do we have more tables? No. Do we have more chairs? No. Uh, I want to engrave the stone here and we'll do... Where's my cursor? We like engraving all along the entrance here. Just past the doors as well. One there, 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 one there. There we go. Also do like a six by six thing there. Three by three thing there as well. Okay. Our drink stockpile's nice and full. Raul has become a mason. Well, congratulations on your skill advancement. Dwarfs hauling the heavy iron statue to the finished goods pile. I wish you could just sort of say relocate statue from here to over here. Uh, is there anything which is a threat at the moment? Floating guts, there's another cave crocodile. That's down there. What's that? Grey cat. Legendary climber. Nope. Okay, do we have any health issues at the moment? I mean, aside from the... You know, grey dog wants a diagnosis. I don't know if dogs can get diagnosed. Hang on, hold on, hold on. I say that, but I kind of think that they can. You just need like an animal handler or whatever. Uh, armor, labor, they're farming related. Let's see. No, it's under hunting, isn't it? Animal care. So, let's get one of our hunters to do that. Uh, there's an animal trainer. Hunting. Uh, you can be animal care as well. And also, you there, you're a ranger, so you can have animal care and animal tra So that might be what we need to get that dog looked at. Weaver has slipped into depression. No. Mm. Okay, okay. If we... What could we make here? Iron furniture. Iron statues. No. Uh, profile. Quarters. Hey, Dwarf Fortress. That's <laughs> my person. Uh, let me see. I feel like one. What is this? Oh, I had to get me a raid, but I was too slow and she raided a robot. Oh, okay. <laughs> well, it, I, I didn't get a raid notification, but uh, hello, welcome. We're playing Dwarf Fortress. Oh, hold on. <laughs> That's not what I wanted to do. We're not. We're not going on a break. Uh. Oh. Don't worry, that's perfectly fine. It's not like I've figured out everything for Twitch. I'm sort of learning as I need to. Oh, wait, this is a thing? I have to read up about it multiple days, and then I might understand it. Um, 
Construct iron statue. Robots need some love too. I agree. Um, five. No, I want to create specific statues. Yeah. Um, let's see. We can make statues of something. Uh, let's see. Uh, what did I create a statue of? Hmm. Make a statue of basically anything. Any historical figures, animals. Hmm. We've got statues of gods. These are going to sit in our... Feast hall. So, let's say it could be a statue of like a dwarf enjoying a meal. Uh, let's see, specify new thing, creature. Wolfman. Yetis. Um. Boogeyman. Cave lobsters. Is this just animals? The dragons. I have a nice statue of a dragon and or a duck. <laughs> Death puppets. Um Dusk Monster. Made of the Dusk Monster. <laughs> um Elephant Man. Man. Um wait, hang on. Don't worry, go figure. No, that's that's specific people. Is there not one for dwarves? Let's see. Filter. No, not... Dwarf. There we go. Uh, how many dwarves? You want to be a dwarf? I will. I will. Um, I'm happy to name people after dwarves. Um, let's see. Let's have two dwarves. And. Action. N no. Nothing like that is. Eating? No. Ah! <laughs> uh, these are all terrible. No, no, no. Nothing terrible. Uh, praying, perhaps. Laboring. Uh. Oh, this is all of them. Uh, how about laughing? No, two dwarves are laughing. Um, can we have an object on here? Uh, let's see. Prepared meal. Now, how many prepared meals? One prepared meal. Two dwarves and a prepared meal. The two dwarves are laughing. No. Um... Object. Goblet. How many goblets? Two goblets. Paired meal and two goblets. Two dwarves are laughing. We just have to imagine that the dwarves are like holding onto the goblets. There we go. Pretty good. And we'll create five of those. Eat. Death poppers. There's a lot of spooky things in Dwarf Fortress. We don't see a lot of them because we're playing in Dwarf Fortress mode. In adventure mode though, night creatures are a massive pain. So, yes. This fortress has been going on for a while. We've got 173, so do anyone have... Does anyone have any specific... Uh, ooh, cave crocodile. Does anyone have any specific, like, wants when it comes to a dwarf? Or should I just pick a dwarf at random? Probably one which isn't suffering from depression <laughs> at the moment. Um, these things are freeing the dwarves' uh, well, sensibilities at the moment. Oh, there's the cave crocodile. It's underneath the dwarves. Oh, thank you for the host. Yasky is so beautiful. I, I enjoy playing with the base tile set. Um, oh dear. There goes someone, they got injured. Monster Slayer, he's faint. No! 
Oh, well, you killed the uh, cave crocodile. Well done. You ran to the rescue. Now, could you get that dwarf and carry them to the uh, hospital? Probably in need of attention. They've lost their fifth toe, right foot. Has anything funny or worth of mention happened in the fortress so far? Uh, well, we found adamantine. Uh, we did have a situation where a troll moved into our fortress. And it sat in the doorway here for a long time. And <laughs> it was um, apparently holding on to the nose of a dog nearby. Until the dog hit it, then the troll charged the dog and it knocked over the statue I had to a god here. And it became a vampiric troll. It was of a curse from the god, so we had to deal with that. That was a pain. We have its tusk on a pedestal here as a trophy for the military. Um, other than that, there was a goblin siege but I hid inside the fortress in the mountain blocked off because we didn't have the military to deal with it and they haven't returned. Um, oh yeah. Um, yes, there's also our were raccoon. Early on also, uh, we had a situation where a were-raccoon appeared on the map and it attacked a bunch of our dwarves. Four of them got infected, so I walled them up into this room. And they did all... Actually, was it four or three? It might have been three. Um, and they all transformed. However, they seemed to attack the uh, child of one of the... Um, one of the uh, were raccoons, and that put pitted them against each other. So the were one were raccoon, were raccoon is left now out of the three, and it just sits in the room there <laughs> behind a wall, and it's been and they've been there for several years now, and they just keep, keep transforming back and forth. I don't like dealing with were creatures. I could probably send my military to kill them now, but because they're still a dwarf, they go back into our fortress. Um, that so poor dwarves. <laughs> yeah, it's just transformed back into a dwarf. There we go. Has it like starved or anything? It's because whenever they transform. Fairly argumentative. This is so boring. Uh, that's one way to put it. This is, um, because whenever they transform, it like resets their stats. So every month, it like gets hungry. Then it's just like, oh, I transform and I'm not hungry or thirsty anymore. Um, it's just bored <laughs> the whole time. It's got nothing to do. You felt satisfied remembering and brewing throwing. There's not much to do in there. So, yeah. So if all dwarves can transform, means that they'll never hunger. Um... Possibly? They still get hungry while they're dwarves. It's just... They never... They, they, she won't die of starvation or thirst because when she gets close to being dehydrated she'll transform because a month will be over and then when she transforms back she'll be perfectly fine so I suppose dwarves can go for a month without a drink um water or anything um or eating for that matter um I know if you have were creatures when they transform, they heal, so I think they regain any limbs which they've lost. Or any injuries they've got get healed. Then when they transform back, they're going to be perfectly fine. So. You can't have a fortress made up of were creatures. It would be difficult to get that going because to get were creatures, you have to have them be bit bitten. Specifically being bitten, um, it's not enough to be clawed by a were creature. It used to be possible to have a were but they find each other now. Ah. Okay. The uh hmm. 
It's not something I've ever tried myself. Um, let's see. Work orders. Beds. Create 30 beds. If anyone has any questions or about what, what I'm doing and what's going on, why I'm doing things, I'm happy to answer. To the best of my knowledge, I do again, tend to get things wrong in your fortress, but there's a lot to remember. Tries to start a fist fight, but the target for the fist fight's inaccessible because they're stuck behind the wall. It was never a good idea to have a fortress of were creatures. I remember, I think it's a lot more easy to get a fortress of vampires, because you just have to, like, get the dwarves to drink vampiric blood. That's easier to do. But you just have to get a vampire in the first place. I think it's also possible to get the Fortress of Necromancers. But that's got its own problems because not everyone's going to be a necromancer instantly. Um, from what I remember, because to become a necromancer, you have to have a slab or something with the secrets of life and death on it. And if you get one in your fortress, the dwarves will haul it somewhere, but they'll sort of read it on the way, so. You didn't know that necro dwarves stopped getting skills? Oh, right. Is that because they can't become undead, or...? You're horrified. Why are you horrified? Probably just remembering something terrible which happened. Horrified, reliving, seeing Logum Mirror Vigor retire. Look at all that. Just doesn't feel anything for all this. Which is good because it means they're just like... Oh wait, you've got a uh, mandate. One legging. Okay, could do that. Uh, armor. Iron. Legging. Like vamps, they're frozen in time. They also don't eat or drink, so there isn't really much to do in the fort. So people did want dwarves named after them. Okay. Uh, well. I will... Let's see. We've got military dwarves. We've got more pedestrian dwarves with sort of general tasks. We've got nobles. Some nobles. Basically anyone. If anyone wants to be in the military. Which has got the... Potential for death, but also for glory. Um, or if you want to be possibly safer, be a uh, in industrial dwarf. Though it's not necessarily safer because dwarves have been throwing tantrums and fistfights, and there is stress and all that around. Uh. You can tell a dwarf is stressed if they have this little flashing red arrow on them. I think actually yellow is stressed, red is like... haggard. Oh. Okay, red's just high stress. I think... I can't remember. Yellow is hungry. Blue is thirsty. So red is just stress. Okay. Been under a great deal of stress. Dejected after a lack of decent meals, but we've got lots of meals. All the carvings on the ground are just faces of dwarves. Uh, statue. Iron statue. Shin, the Aqualadak. Uh, ooh. A peasant. You can have stone detailing. Good job. And you just start detailing this floor which you're standing on. Well done. Sorry, 
spectetrahedroid. What is that? Oh, that's down there. Right. Uh... Okay, okay. We'll try and grab some of this, um, adamantine. <laughs> Could go terribly wrong. I'll try not to flub it up. Get too greedy. If I remember how it is, then it shouldn't be a problem. I don't think it's changed. Hmm, cold tea. Uh, just a Gorlac. So yes, adamantine. It's like the ultimate ore in the game, I suppose. Um. It's really hard, it's really light, it's really good for making armor and bladed weapons out of. Not so much good for, like, hammers, because it's really light, so it doesn't have a lot of force behind it, or weight behind the attacks. Um, but it comes with issues, and I don't really want to say, I explain it further, just, just understand that there is a lot of risk was getting out of Mantine. Um, potential risk. If you're careful, you can avoid it, but if uh, you're not careful... Oh, hang on. You're actually mining some there. Hold off on that. I don't want you to mine the adamantine, I just want you to mine around it. Gone pretty bad. Okay. Keep mining around it. There shouldn't be any gaps around it. He says... Zoom in for this. Oh. Okay. So the adamantine is the uh, light blue coloured pound signs. And I'd like to get some of it. Okay. Find this. Oh. Engraver withdraws from society. Uh, taken by a mood. Uh, he has a strange mood. Pe peculiarly, peculiarly secretive. Okay. I have to keep an eye on you. Okay, there it is. It's going out like that. Good. Uh, do this. Minus throwing a tantrum. Well done, Minor. Eden has claimed a craft dwarf workshop. Uh, and he's going to collect some stuff, so it'll be fine. Uh, let's see. Um, new s siege operator. 
Uh, actually, something a bit more interesting than that. How about... What are you? You're an architect. Nil. Wouldn't it be grand to just take it? I take just to take my life off and do nothing for the rest of my days. Ah. Golden fills. Are you my? No, you're not. You're an axe dwarf. Okay. Um. Sure. Nil. Uh, let's see. Customize. Nickname. Uh, someone wanted one. Uh, you can be Dixon the Great. No. And we'll pick another Axe Dwarf. Uh, this one. The test. And do this. Nickname. And it can be Kim Owns. Go! Both have dwarves named after you. In the military! Uh, they're pretty skilled. They are axe dwarves, so they should <laughs> survive pretty well. Um, some gems in the... Okay. There's some gems in the adamantine there. That worries me. Do I get those gems? Hmm. Well, we can get some of the adamantine because it's um around the edges. So we can get this. We can get this. And we can get this here. Mine like that. So we can get some of the adamantine. Yay! Ugh. Hey, look at that! Adamantine! Raw adamantine. Ex and yes, this is raw adamantine. And we'll need to extract the uh, adamantine strands. Because it's very odd for an ore. It comes in like fibers. I suppose. So they have to extract the strands from the um, material. And we're actually getting quite a bit of it. We're getting some of, we're getting ore for every bit which we mine. Which is nice to see. Okay. Um, want to this ore pile here is you'll be accepting adamantine yep um where is it oh, hang on is it under that could be Does it go into another pile? Oh well, those, the dwarves will sort it out. We're going to need to go to the forge and how many of those do you have left to do? 11 out of 12. New order. Uh, I want you to make adamantine wafers. No, because we need to extract strands and we do that at the at a craft horse workshop it's been so long since I've done this um extract metal strands there we go so does it just get stored in the normal stone stuff oh no other stone. Raw adamantine. There it is. Okay. So it's under other stone. Put some bins in there. 
No. There we go. Okay. Uh, did you finish dumping all those? No, you didn't. Wars are. But. Hey, masterpiece cave spider silk cloth. Mortally afraid. Why? Probably having a flashback. He is afraid reliving experiencing trauma. I am separated from Tobble Bound Pick. I cannot give in the sadness. Oh. Not the person you're married to. Uh, I mean, this is a parent, a father or something. Wife. Mother, father. Oh, he's actually uh, got his uh, mother and father in the, far in the uh, fortress. And an older brother and a younger sister. Wait, how old are you? Thirty-six. Okay, it was actually in a migrant wave. I don't think any of our children have grown up yet. I don't think we've had the fortress going on for that long. That would have to be for twelve years. Is that statue ready to be put up? Actually, it's already put up. That's right. I've done that. Uh, but the. Uh, Tables. There, 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 and that's it. Mm. And they did construction of certain goods. Make splints. Well, we can do that. Construct wooden splint and do task now. Oh, the administrator has grown attached to an iron shield. Unib Zon Vitek. Are you like admiring the tusk there or something or lead striking? Demonstration. No, you're just practicing. While standing on top of the uh, pedestal there. Uh, is anyone going to pick up some of the. Uh, or. Maybe. you all doing? It's like feeding time. Everyone's either going into the temples or they're going to get a drink. Well, come and enjoy our lovely, uh, our lovely dining room. have iron statue of put that there uh, do we need to like make these fancier or something let's see uh, dance floor in common area 7x5 that's fine I think stored instruments 2 the side is five. I think the boxes can store multiple things. We could like construct and place some instruments there, I think. But those are a hassle to make. 
I've only got one thing in each box. Maybe they can only store one each. Let me have a look. Uh, instrument. It's actually got a bit about the realisticness of the instruments. Uh, what's this? Oh, Eden! Solam Kubuk has begun a mysterious construction. I wonder what you're going to create. And a brewer has given birth to a girl. Congratulations. And the river's frozen. Okay. Uh, plant is experiencing emotional shock. Wolf and child throwing a tantrum. There's a weaver. What? Oh. <laughs> Shaken to the call. Heck. <laughs> Someone beat up the weaver. <laughs> Let's see. The weaver stands up. Kib. Kilob Meb Tob. Weaver has calmed down. The weaver punches the planter in the neck. Oh, that's why the planter had a, had a problem. I started a fist fight. I feel regret. Attacks the brewer, but she scrambles away, punches the brewer, punches the weaver, brewer punches the weaver, brewer punches the weaver, the weaver punches the brewer, the weaver has been stunned, horse bends in the neck. Oh great, don't give each other, like, bad injures, injuries. I've been injured badly, I can keep it together. And she calms down. Where he calms down. Well, I'm gonna have to take you to the hospital. What's this? Giving birth to a boy! So many babies! Are you just sleeping in there, or...? I don't know. Oh! <laughs> Your upper spine is injured, yeah. The upper front teeth are, uh, Gone too. That's a... Old injury. Okay, there, 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 there. Someone got microcline in their bedrooms? Yep. Oh, microcline. It's actually interesting, um, when just looking at it, the way the ores and the different, mm, the different, like, stones and all that are placed in the world is different than how it used to be. But I remember you get microcline, it might actually still be like that, but they'd come in, like, large ovals. And, um, this seems like it's a bit more wavy but that might actually be the um border between the two um what's it called biomes because we're st straddling a mountain biome and a uh, forest biome the way raccoons trying to start fist fights but can't because there's no one in the room with them You're gonna have to like punch the wall or something. And you transformed into a wind. Mm. Okay. Can we make like This adorable animal can't work. But you can make certain animals, like, adoptable. Uh, let's see. N? 
though. No. Nope. Uh, where would it be? Orders. No. No, no, no. <laughs> Pretty sure you could give it somewhere. Anyway. I don't know whether if they're pets, you'd be able to, um... Whether they'd still need to be fed. Pet. Uh... Control what animals are up for adoption through the animal status screen, the first tab on the Z menu. There you can toggle on un available, unavailable, and each tamed animals will never be adopted out of a cage. They must be left to roam for adoption to take place. Uh... Well, pet to provide a happiness bonus. Okay. Oh, what's this? Eden Solam Kubuk Engraver has created Adagaraz Ablishhoth, a quartzite tour hammer. He claims it as an heirloom in the fam name of the family ancestor Nish Immortal Immortal it yours. Okay. What's that last word? Immortal it yours. Very odd. Okay, well, let's have a look at it. Uh, soaked knighted. The meandering knots. Quartzite toy hammer. Warcraft dwarfship is of the highest quality. It is encircled as bands of alpaca wool. This object is adorned with hanging rings, rings of quartzite and menaces with spikes of giant olm bone and cave crocodile bone. On the item is an image of a pigtail in rose quartz. Oh, it's rather nice for a toy. The children of the fortress will enjoy playing with that. Along with the artifact wooden boat we got earlier on. Making a lot of toys. We should just export toys. Uh, pretty sure someone in the past has made a fortress in the north in the northern uh, tundra and just exported toys. Uh, rock, make. And we don't have to make rock toys. You can make them out of iron. We got so much iron. Other objects. Iron. Iron toys. There we go. Other scholars visiting. Person end up going into the hospital. Maybe. Ooh, actually, I have to remove these zones because they're now useless for the uh, temples. I don't want them worshipping in there because there's nothing for them to worship and they'll just get unhappy thoughts because they won't get, you know, I haven't been able to worship my god properly. So I want them to go into the new ones which are bigger. birth to a girl, congratulations. Give a birth to a boy, congratulations. Uh, I will actually do this. Smooth out this area. Like that. There we go. Smooth out these bedrooms. And we'll assign these bedrooms to. We also want some containers in their rooms. Uh, quartzite coffer, quartzite coffer, quartzite coffer, or whatever coffer, marble coffer, 
Chalk coffer. Chalk coffer. Gabbro. Can you imagine storing clothes in a chalk coffer? You just end up with chalk all over your clothing. Wait, hang on. Hold on, hold, hold on, hold on, hold on. I I've done a terrible thing again. I'm accidentally putting coffins in the bedrooms. <laughs> and not, uh, coffers. Last time. <laughs> I did that last time. And I thought, well, they probably wouldn't care that much. Because, hey, that's a pretty nice coffin. <laughs> but it seems a bit morbid just having the coffin which they might end up being put in right next to their own bed. Uh. Hello, welcome. We're, uh... Being... What's it called? Butterfingered about the... And learning the difference of coffers and coffins. Ugh. It's not much of a difference. Ugh. Mm. Die, cancel, store item in barrel. Horrified. Why are you horrified? Because you're just depressed. Like, a lot of people in the fortresses. Yep. Uh, it's just because they keep seeing some people die. Lack of decent meals. We've got someone making, like, high-quality meals, like, 24-7. Fine meals and easy meals. They don't count. You just have to eat them. Render fat. Workshop. Work orders. Prepare easy meals. 30 easy meals. Workshop. Work orders. Prepare fine meals. 30 fine meals. You just have to make it perpetually. Just, I don't really want to do that because then end up using all the items which have seeds in them and then we won't have any plants to... I have to get plants from outside. I'm not ranting. <laughs> I'm not. Sorry. <laughs> I sound frustrated. Pardon me. It's more just like... What am I doing? It is frustration to a degree. I'm trying to control the dwarves eating meals which are better than, you know, what they normally eat. Or... You know, so they eat better meals over eating raw meals. And it is entirely possible. The way my fortress is laid out is probably is not the best for that. Um, I have a stockpile here for food and for drink. And it's a larger place than the one which I had upstairs. My frustration evolves pretty much from just... If I have a fine meal prepared and it's in the stockpile that's all well and good however oh the mind has gone berserk um which meal the dwarves will get is pretty much entirely based on which one's closest when they're hungry so <laughs> i can't really control which meal they get there's a miner um i'm gonna have to put you down i'm afraid so they'll be like, oh, I'm hungry. I'm going to eat this raw turnip. And then they're like, but there was like, a, you know, a roast meal right there. No, I ate a turnip and it wasn't that good. So I'm sad now. But you could have eaten a better meal. It was right there. No. That was messy. Killed one. Two. How many did you kill? You need to change your fortress layout now. There's so much, like, little detail and effort you can put into designing a fortress. I I never really put too much thought into it, and even then, when I try and get more detailed, it, things go wrong. Okay, let's see. You killed one, two, 
and three dwarves, but one of them died after you had been killed. So that's four deaths because of one miner. It's a problem because the miner was probably one of our starting dwarves and they were really skilled with their pickaxe. So that's why when you're playing Dwarf Fortress, if you want a military early on, it's a good bet to use your miners because they are skilled with their picks from all the mining. So they make a pretty good militia. Uh, though you need to get some armor first. Or, you don't need to, but if you're going up against, like, the occasional animal, they're alright. Uh, let's put these coffers in here. Every time I play Dwarf Fortress, I need to have a nice looking fortress. I can't handle playing with square rooms. These rooms have got a better than what I usually make. I tend to make like two by two rooms for them, which are very, very small. But I went a bit bigger so that they could have like cabinets and all that in their bedrooms. Um, speaking of which, we haven't actually got a lot of the cabinets in. I thought I was making like a hundred of these cabinets. Um. Okay, there we go. Uh. Oh yes, I do thoroughly enjoy this game. Any frustrations I have is just 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 amusing quirks with the game. With the dwarves AI. You know, it's like you can lead them to the you can lead them to the alcohol pile to drink, but you can't get them to drink. Though they will go after alcohol rather than drinking for the drinking from the well, I think. <laughs> might depend on how thirsty they are. Uh. Oh. This. Hey, you've given birth to a girl. Congratulations. Do we have any of that adamantine down here? Let's see. All the way down. You know, when you hold it, it goes faster. And... There we go, this way. Uh, doesn't look like anyone's picked it up. Uh, what kind of fortress design is better? One Z level fortress or multiple Z level fortresses? Like bedrooms at this level, and workshops at this level. Um, I build very horizontal fortresses just because that's what I'm used to over the years I've played Dwarf Fortress. Um, using verticality better is something I've always feel like I need to do because vertical height to dwarves doesn't really mean much so if you have a stockpile beneath your workshops you can compress things in space wise to have a lot more efficient because the stockpile could be underneath where the workshops are and the workshops are just above so they just need to go downstairs pick something up and all that um the way I have it laid out is just I've always sort of laid things out um with bedrooms it is, uh, let's see. Okay, um. <sighs> it's generally a good idea to have your bedrooms a fair distance away from anywhere else. Oh, there's a troll. Um. And because of noise generation, um, it's a very small mechanic, but because uh, dwarves sort of, where's this troll? 
Um, because sort of dwarf happiness is kind of a priority <laughs> to stop them from going, you know, mad with mad with sadness and all that. You kind of want to have, um, well, you you want to minimum. Let me start again. Noise is a thing in Dwarf Fortress. It's generated by a number of things. Um, let's see. Uh, only five jobs are known to cause noise. Digging causes noise for eight tiles. Wood cutting for eight tiles. Engraving for four tiles. Fortification carving for four tiles. And removing constructions for eight tiles. Uh, noise radiates across Z levels in the shape of a cube in all six directions, north, south, east, west, and up, down. So noise that travels four tiles will generate noise in a 9x9 nine nine pattern on nine successive floors. The noise radiates from the center of the noise producing things. Uh, my bedrooms are probably not far away enough from it, uh, from working. So if we have like, what, four or five... One, two, three, four. It just sort of means whether the dwarves will sleep soundly because there's nothing being done near them. Um, but yeah, I think multiple Z levels are better. <laughs> to, to cut a thing short. Um, it's a good habit to get into because you have a lot of space. Every Z level is like full map, so... May as well use it. I find it's difficult because you start off with a fort, which takes, you know, you've put a fort quickly up at the beginning just because you need things up and running, which is like what this is. But then I never really move out of that. Um, it's what I've got this down here because I've replaced the old meeting hall with the new one, which is bigger all that but sort of moving all of your workshops into more organized areas something i need to get more into the habit of doing hey you finished the statues i mean in the end it's really just build fortresses the way which you feel happy about building them there's not really it's kind of a wishy-washy answer um There's not really any major ways you can make a fortress wrong. As long as dwarves can get to where they need to get to. And that they don't need to travel long distances to do things. So. Also, making sure that hallways are wide enough. I've got four wide hallways here. Which means that dwarves, if they're moving past, can sort of walk past each other easily. Um, the door frames, the doorways are two squares wide. So I was always planning on putting doors into them, but I never ended up getting around to doing that. Also, staircases is wide. It just stops, like, traffic jams. And <clears throat> dwarves can move past each other a bit more easily. Uh, that, do that. Iron bar there. And iron bar there, and iron bar, iron bar, iron bar, and iron bar. For people who have just joined us, this is our underground vault made out of iron, which is going to be where we're storing a bunch of our, um, a bunch of our uh, goods and all that. A bunch of our, like, valuable items. I have gold coins which I've smelted and we'll probably store some other things in there. Maybe artifacts? I don't know about artifacts. Anyway, it'll be just something down there for, like, an adventurer to come across. Hmm... Okay. Ah, oh, yes, we've got all these. So. Use for burial. Pets.
There is guides on the internet for laying out things in Dwarf Fortress if you want like very compact or space space efficient rooms and all that. Um, I don't really follow any of them. 3x3s three are about what I do. Fortress. Bedroom design. But yeah, there's some really interestingly designed bedrooms which get quite fractal. Some of them which are really, really nice. Uh, be so much effort trying to place it all down though. Large circles. You want your fortress to look beautiful? A perfectly reasonable goal. My fortress is, func is functional. It's not very pretty. Not really pretty at all, but bits get added as I need them. There's no overall plan for it. I might make individual rooms a bit more fancy, but I'm working on a design with dwarf faces. <laughs> Giant dwarf faces over the landscape. I think in one of my fortresses a number of years back I had a big dwarf face laid out in stone on in, in front of my fortress. Um, I always plan things like I'd like to have a really big like I'd like to have a tower out here with have box dwarves in it to shoot out of and ramparts and you know all that but I always find making things vertical into a fortress is a huge hassle because you got to like Cut the mountains back so that there's, they can't climb over them. Got to build multiple Z levels up. Got to build a lip, and then that. And uh. dwarf faces with funny-looking mustaches. Pleated mustaches. What's your mustache look like? Uh. His hair is extremely long. His nose is extraordinarily broad. And what broad, three lobed ears are splayed out. Head is short. His lips are very thin. Yeah, it's just his hair is extremely long. His hair is pumpkin. Okay. Well, what's your problem? Stumbling obliviously. Okay, well, we found, well, we started mining some of the adamantine, but no dwarves have gone down to pick it up. So, we might end up getting some of that next time. I think it's because my stone stockpile here is filled. I'm actually going to, let's see, do this. Uh, other stone, raw adamantine, there we go. You can put it in there. Show me on Imgur. Um, sure, if it doesn't take a minute, I'll probably be stopping the stream stream here in a little bit because it's rather late. Been going for nearly three hours. Then I was planning, but uh, I get lost in the game. Um. Oh, someone. Oh, became a line maker, right? Because the squad is off their training, so they're on break. All this stuff in here now, and you haven't moved it yet. Move the bins. There. Just move those gem bins. Take them off the dock. Oh. How late is it? Um. Uh. More of a question of how early it is. At the moment, it's like 4:53 a.m. where I am, anyway. Uh. It's the weekend, so it doesn't really... Mm. Ooh! Oh, jeez. What a thing to end on. <laughs> the wedge giraffe Smoma Ilumgirus Tuma Fensast has come. 
A large giraffe twisted into humanoid form. It is crazed for blood and flesh. Its eyes grow scarlet. Its dark brown hair is long and straight. Now you will know why you fear the night. It's a were giraffe. Oh, lovely. Okay. Uh, tunnel pikes. I want you down here. You're going to deal with this. Vault guardians. Go down here as well. Alerts. Active. Activate the burrow. No no. Oh geez. Oh geez. Just please outright kill people. Don't like bite them and then leave them alive. I know you're upset because you just saw someone die. And uh, there goes someone else. Just outright kill them. Thank you. And there goes someone else. Killed three people. A large giraffe. <laughs> it is scrawny. Military, please go kill this were giraffe. It's killing all my fisher dwarfs. Not that we've got we've got a fair bit of surplus of them, but Okay, you're moving to attack. Kill it! Kill it! Don't die. Gonna have to check whether you're bitten. Okay. <sighs> you dealt with that. Uh, let's see. Wait, giant case spider? Oh jeez, I'm gonna have to check that as well. Wear giraffe. Let's see. Uh, Fisher dwarf. <laughs> the uh, wear giraffe is bemoaning death. Bombrek is fan dwarf. Stabs the wear giraffe, the wear giraffe falls over, misses. Attacks the wear giraffe, misses. Stabs the wear giraffe, wear giraffe misses. Wear giraffe attacks, strikes at speed dwarf, blocked. Attacks, attacks, blocks, misses. Attacks, misses, attacks, misses, misses, attacks, misses, misses, attacks, attacks. Wear giraffe, wear giraffe grabs the axe dwarf by the nose with his upper left leg. And then they kill it. Okay, so nobody got bitten by it. Everyone who got bitten by it died. And... That should be fine. So... We did lose four dwarves there. And there's something else also. Uh... Was, why was it saying people were, uh... Where's that giant case spider? Oh, it's just a human swords tool. Human swordsman fighting a giant case spider. Did you kill a giant case spider on your own? I didn't even notice. Well done. If that's the case. Yeah, there you are. Is that you? Bush have. Let's see. Uh, giant case spider. Bites the manager. Wait, bites the manager? Oh, the axe dwarf hacks the giant. Just. The axe dwarf just killed it. Second of obsidian. Who was this? Down there. Okay. Um. Yeah, sure. Okay. You killed a uh, giant case spider without me even realizing it. Well done. Every time you open Dwarf Fortress, my PC lags. Yeah, Dwarf Fortress does use a surprising amount of memory. Um. The best ways to handle that is, well, aside from having like good RAM and all that, um, or you know, a, a good amount of RAM, um, is by having embarks at the suggested size at the beginning when you embark, uh, not increasing the size by too much. I think they're normally like, sorry, I'm fiddling with my uh, microphone stand. Um, I think the, no the general size is like 4x4. Four four. You don't really want to go too far above that. Like 5x5 five five is fine, maybe 6x6, six six, but too big and it really slows down the game because the pathing just becomes... The area gets too big and the dwarves... If it hasn't changed, the way dwarves path in Dwarf Fortress is rather inefficient. They sort of look at the entire map and go, okay, I can move here 
and I want to go from here to here. And they make a path based on the entire map. So the bigger the map is, the more computing power it takes for the area. How big is my area? Uh, my area is the old size. Just just what the game gives you. Which I think. Oh, jeez, what's going on? Oh, right. Uh, because the uh, let's still on. Deactivate to borrow. Uh, this is just the basics. The uh, size of the game sets for you. This is the entire area. Actually, that's a bit. That's a bit. Uh, there we go. See, it cuts off at the bottom there. Scroll in and out by using the mouse wheel. Um, but. Is that the entire. Oh, that's cutting off a little. But yeah, that, 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 that's the uh, general area size. I think it's 3x3, three 4x4 three, four four maybe. Not too sure. Anyway. 4x4 four four, I believe it. Uh, ooh. That's really detailed. Looks very interesting. I'm quite impressed by that. It's far more than I would ever be, than I would ever um, ever do, but looks very nice. But the ones which I have on um, Google when I had a look at room designs. You like the dwarf faces. Oh, <laughs> I see them, yes. <laughs> I did see those at first. Yeah, there's little dwarf faces on this image. Um, that's quite clever. I like that. Well done. Um, okay, but yes, as I said, aside from that were giraffe attack, we're going to have to end, the, end this... Uh, fortress and this stream now because it's far too late early and uh, it always goes on longer than I plan to but I do enjoy this um so what is this I think this is like episode 8 I don't know how much longer this fortress will go on for hmm since we're not getting attacked by goblins we can't really sort of say well until the goblins come and wipe us out it's, they showed up once and I've just given up. Maybe I go in and get the adamantine. Maybe I'll be clumsy about that. I'd still like to finish the vault. Maybe we could just put stuff in the vault and leave it. Then uh let Lord. Retire the Fortress episode. Oh, um Pardon. All, all of the uh streams I do I upload to my YouTube channel under mech4 there's a link to it on my twitch homepage. so i'm just thinking of which episode this would be when i upload it to youtube that's why i think it's like episode seven or eight or seven or eight or something so it's because all the past streams get removed from twitch and um it just, if people want to watch them in their own times, they'll be there for um, for them when, if they want to watch them in parts and so on, because this is like a nearly three hour long stream, so you can stop it and start it. Uh, but yes, with people slipping into depression, being horrified, collecting things, finished coffers and all that. Oh, what's that? A oh, captain of the guard throwing a tantrum. No, you shouldn't. You're the captain of the guard. Ah, oh, whatever. Save the game. That's nice. <laughs> I'm glad you think so. I know I prefer having, like, there's some streamers which I watch and they upload all their streams onto YouTube. I don't catch, I don't watch streams live really at all. I've only 
done that occasionally, and it's more because being in Australia like I am, when a lot of other people stream is either in the middle of the day or really early in the morning for me, so I'm not likely to watch their streams live. So if I can watch them offline, much more much more convenient for me. Appreciate it. It also means that I can rewatch stream <laughs> years later. Anyway. As I said, that will be it for Dwarf Fortress for tonight. I thank you very much for joining me, and I hope you'll join me for the next one. I'll stop the recording here.